Just wanted to do a, another quick review of one of my projects I just finished repairing. This is the audio control octave equalizer. You can see all the uh, starts at 31.5 hertz. Each uh, equalizer channel does left and right. That's why there's two for each. If you're not familiar with audio control, they're a company based out of um, Washington State in uh, Mount Lake Terrace. And I became familiar with them in the 90s when I did pro car audio and in all my uh, high-end car systems that I have for myself and many that I built for others. I use audio control crossovers. My favorite one that I had for like five years in all my system was the audio control EQX. They also had the, uh, I believe it was the 4XS and the 2XS. Excellent crossovers. I didn't even know they made uh, home audio, but I ran across this on an auction and picked this up for uh, uh, 30 or $35. But when I hooked it up, it was working, but had a couple issues. One was the channel right there with the black marks on it. The right channel, when I would turn up that octave, which is, uh, let's see. The 1000 hertz. The right channel would, when you turned it up, would turn up all sound like highs lows everything so that I knew there was something wrong with the crossover so I went through and uh, tested uh, started out by testing all the larger capacitors and they all tested good and ended up finding one smaller one the one right there in the middle of the screen with the black mark on it was a good amount out of spec and I changed that and it made it better but it still wasn't right so then I followed the uh, that channel on the board like followed it through these this wiring and followed the traces on the board and I reflowed the solder on the two capacitors that uh we're in that before it got to the chips on the board and that solved the problem. So I think it was just a broken uh, solder connection on those in combination with a pretty almost bad capacitor. I tested around a bunch on the rest of the board and everything else seems fine. But another issue is uh, these broken lights. So I'll end up replacing those with new uh, LEDs. But this is something I'm repairing to keep for myself for my own sound system. In all my uh, pro cardio systems, I always had equalizers. I usually ran the Alpine 11 band equalizer with the separate subwoofer crossover and on and off switch in all my systems. And near the end of my pro audio craze days and installation career, I was running the uh, graphic Alpine 11 band EQ and the 7909 Alpine CD with the audio control crossovers and a Phoenix Gold uh, M44 
and running uh, two sets of three-way MB Court component speakers and a Phoenix Gold MS2125 amp running three uh, JL, uh, JL Audio 12s. The good old days. But anyway, it's just a hobby of mine. Really enjoy keeping uh, this older audio gear in operation because most people just throw it away when it goes bad. If you have the opportunity to track one of these down and get one, I highly recommend doing so because you'll be hard pressed to find a better EQ for the price. And the layout of the board is really streamlined and easy to problem solve. So it should be reason reasonably easy to keep these alive for quite some time. But I'm not really sure how hard it would be to replace one of these, to find one of these chips, but. I may have to look into that and buy a couple spares just to keep because everything else is basic materials. Anyways, just another video of one of my restoration projects. I'm probably gonna um, wrap the face in case of this, uh, the exterior of this EQ with a uh, wood grain. I won't have any markings on it because I, I actually don't need them just give it a unique look we'll see take it easy people